Hi you guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we have quite a haul to get through. I have so many skincare products that I have finished, a couple of body care products, and literally one makeup product. So I don't even think we have time for a little intro. I think we just have to hop in and just start. Starting off with the solo makeup item, that is the Airy Perez Almond Oil Mascara. I just used this in my last video. I have been using it for the past three months. Every three months, you should cycle through your mascara and get a new one. I feel like it gave me a nice amount of separation and volume. I did get a little bit of smudging on this depending on what face products I was using, which I know sounds funny, but if I used anything like a really thick moisturizer or anything around my eye area, I would see that the mascara would actually start to transfer throughout the day and I noticed in the heat that it actually didn't hold up for me. However, when I curled my eyelashes it held a curl and whether or not a mascara smudges on you is a lot more about your eye chemistry and your skin. So I would give this mascara an A for effort. <laughs> it was a really beautiful formula. I really liked it. It just started to smudge on me so that was kind of a bummer. Honestly don't even know where to start when it comes to skincare so we'll start with body care. <laughs> right? It's always good to avoid things that are hard. The first one is actually not really an empty. It is an expired product, which I feel awful about. I bought this about two years ago because it was on sale at Nordstrom's. It's the Organic Pharmacy Cleopatra Body Scrub. And honestly, I just didn't take to it. I really wanted to use it, but I just felt like it was really thick and the particles in it weren't like comfortable scrubbiness. It was like scratching at my skin. So I didn't like that. And it was just like a super, super oily product. So the bottom of my shower would get really slippery and it was kind of like gross and would leave a film on my skin, which I didn't like. So I just never really used it and it just sat in a drawer. And now it's definitely beyond expired. So I have to get rid of it. So if anyone knows of a good body scrub, please let me know because I really do believe in exfoliation. I dry brush pretty much every time I take a shower and I would love to find a good body scrub that the particles are a little bit softer and maybe rounder so that it's just like a little bit more comfortable to use on your skin. I almost felt like I was scraping my skin with this. Next body related thing. I finally finished my shaving cream from a long, long time ago. This was in a video I did about conventional products that I still use. And this shaving cream, I mean, there's nothing to say about it. Has anyone really found a shaving cream that's changed your life? I feel like they're all the same. They're just different scents and maybe a slightly different color. I probably won't purchase this again because I don't need it. And you guys gave me really good suggestions about alternatives and soaps that I can use in that video. So if you're looking for a good shaving cream, go check out that video because you guys had a lot of great suggestions and I would not repurchase this again. So I'm sticking this product in here because it's almost empty. And this is the Maya Chai, the Rejuvenating Beautifying Super Critical Body Oil. And it's probably only has like one or two uses left. I got it a few months ago. I've been really enjoying it. I have to admit, I don't like it as much as the Living Libations oil that I used to have. I think it's just a scent thing. The texture of this is beautiful. It does, to me, smell a little bit more herbal. Does that make sense? Um, like it sort of smells to me like something you would find in your kitchen. It, the scent has definitely grown on me, but initially when I first started using it, it wasn't my favorite. It is a great body oil. I definitely notice a difference in my skin. I sometimes get very dry patches on my legs, and this really helps with that. I also like to mix this with a little bit of a vitamin C powder that I have from True Botanicals, and I can apply that to sort of my chest and my shoulder area just to brighten that skin since I'm pretty bad about applying SPF there. The other thing that I would say about this is although the packaging is absolutely gorgeous, it does get dirty quite easily because it's a black glossy packaging. You can actually see the oil, like if you get some on your hands and you put the bottle down, then you leave your handprint on it. And that's just something funny for me. I like my products to look clean and nice. And so it was kind of frustrating. I felt like I had to wipe this one down every few weeks. But yes, really beautiful oil. It definitely does the job. Just smell it to make sure that it's a scent for you. Otherwise, I would definitely recommend checking out the Living Libations best skin ever. That is still like one of my favorite scents in Rose. Last body related item that I finished up is Tom's of Maine toothpaste. I get the fluoride free version anti-plaque and whitening. Fluoride is something that I've been paying a little bit more attention to because I do have a thyroid disorder so fluoride can affect that so I've been trying to do fluoride free products and I really like this one. I continually repurchase it. I think it has a nice taste in it and sometimes natural toothpaste have a weird aftertaste but I have been curious about David's 
toothpaste. I don't know if you guys have tried that or not, but I feel like that's sort of a cult natural toothpaste. So let me know if you guys think it's worth the hype. Otherwise, this is a great affordable and easy to find option. So I usually just continue to repurchase this. Okay, now for the mammoth of skincare empties. One of the very first products that I finished in my old skincare routine was this Dr. Hauschka Rose Day Cream. This is something that Alyssa recommended for me. If you haven't seen that beauty swap between us, definitely go check it out. And I really liked this. I felt like it was a good all around moisturizer. It smelled really nice. And like it says, it is a light day cream. So you still get a lot of moisture, but it's very light and very soothing. The only thing for me is the packaging was a little bit funny towards the and it's hard to get all the product out and you can see I've sort of squished it down to try and scoot all the product out and I swear there's still a little bit in here so maybe I would try like cutting it or something but it's definitely nice that it's kept very hygienic and you're not dipping your fingers into a pot or anything so yeah I'm really happy that I tried this and I think it makes a great moisturizer under makeup everything sticks really well to it so if you're looking for just an average good moisturizer that you can count on, definitely try this out. The next product is not a natural brand, not a green brand per se. This is the Jan Marini Bioglycolic Bioclear Face Lotion. This is a glycolic acid face lotion. They call it a lotion, but it's more like a gel. It looks really gross because it's all like dried up and not used. I've had this for years and years, but it finally expired in July. So I was like, okay, I can't use this anymore. I really like this if I got a little bit of a breakout or something like that. In fact, when I first started using this product, I was using it pretty much every night and that was too drying. My skin got used to it very quickly and it stopped being as effective. So then I went down to just using it as sort of spot treatments or once a week or so for a little extra exfoliation and I felt like this was actually a great product. So if you're someone who tends to have clogged pores and you're looking for a good glycolic product, then I would definitely recommend this. Jam Marini is a pretty clean line and yeah it's really lightweight it's easy to apply and I think it's really effective the next empty is this little sample of the Josh Rosebrook vital balm cream and this is something that I was sort of hesitant to use because I had heard mixed things about some people love it some people are like what does this even do for your skin and I felt like the sample is tiny I won't be able to actually try it out but in reality I was really able to try it out and a little bit goes a very very long way with this product and I really enjoyed it I talked about it in a favorites video so if you guys want something more in depth, definitely go check out that video. But I will say that the scent of this is wonderful and the way that it feels on your skin is fantastic. So I would definitely consider buying the full size of this product. I'm currently using the Maid Lindstrom Blue Cocoon and I have this feeling if you're a fan of the Blue Cocoon, you'd also be a fan of this balm because they're very similar. When you rub it in your hands to warm it up, both products melt down into a bit of an oil and you can just apply it to your face. I also just really enjoyed the scent of this. I felt like it was a very fresh scent. And yeah, like I said, I would definitely consider buying the full size of this product. Um, I felt like my skin, when I would wake up after using it, it would be much, much softer and a lot fuller. I think that was because I used it in combination with this other Josh Rosebrook product, the Hydrating Accelerator. I use this as a prep step before I apply anything on top of my skin. And I really do think it makes a difference. I know that that sounds crazy. It's like, this is just an extra step in your routine, but I'm actually already wanting to purchase another one of these because I'm missing it in my routine. I've only had it empty for about a night or two. <laughs> I just noticed a difference in how products penetrate and I feel like my skin is much more hydrated. Also with the blue cocoon, it's nice to have damp skin when you actually apply it and so I like to dampen my skin with this. And then I feel like all these ingredients are really going deep into my skin and I'm getting the full benefit of whatever product I use. I also just think whatever they did with the spray thing, I know I talked about this in my favorites video, but this spray applicator applicator is the best one that I have ever used. It's just such a fine mist that goes on your face. It is so refreshing. And I've been using a different facial spray now, um, the one that I got from Derma E in replace of this because I obviously it's empty. And it's just not the same experience. It's not as relaxing. It's that experience where you start to spray and you go like, you crinkle your face because there's so much coming at you. Whereas this one, you just softly spray it and your face is just so relaxed. And yeah, there's just something about this applicator. They did a great job. Yeah, I'm definitely looking to get my hands on another one of these very, very soon. So the next empty is another product where I bought it with the best intentions. I thought I really liked it and then I decided I really didn't. And then it just sat in a drawer instead of me being smart and giving it to someone else. And now it's expired. And that is the Kahina Giving Beauty Morocco 
New York eye cream. This eye cream is loved by so many people, so you have to take everything I say with a grain of salt. This is just my experience with it. You get a lot of product for your money because you only need a very little bit. This is very potent stuff. The smell is great. The texture is wonderful. It feels very lightweight on your skin. I used it for about a week, thought I really, really enjoyed it, um, but then I started waking up in the morning and my eyes were even puffier than normal, which is never a good sign. <laughs> so then I stopped using it for a couple days and I noticed my eyes went back down. I started using it again, my eyes were puffy, and not only that, but I started to actually get a little bit of like clogged pores underneath my eyes, which your eye area is a pretty hard place to get clogged for. So I was like, something in this just doesn't agree with me. And I stopped using it. I still think if it works for you, it is a great eye cream. It's very lightweight, feels very moisturizing, but it just didn't work for my body. And so it just sort of sat in a drawer and now it's expired. So now it's just wasted money, but I'm glad that I got to try it. And now I know that it doesn't work for me. And if you guys have any eye cream recommendations, definitely let me know in the comments down below. Okay guys, three more products. Products. And they're all Tata Harper. So get excited. I know I've been promising sort of my finished wrapped up opinion of the products that I had. My last empties video, I talked about the other products for my skincare regime. And these were the last three that were left over that I had been finishing. And now I'm totally Tata Harper free at this moment. I don't have any Tata Harper products in my skincare routine. Which, by the way, if you guys want a skincare routine, because I feel like I found something that's really working for my skin, despite the like one massive pimple that I have on my forehead. Let me know because I love skincare routines and I don't know if that would interest you guys. The first product is their oil cleanser. This is something that you hear a lot about. I love it. I love the scent. The one thing I don't like is that it's hard to get off your skin. So it's not something that you can just wash off with water, at least in my personal opinion. You do need something like a washcloth or a muslin cloth to actually take off the oil because it'll leave a film on your skin. I've been using a much cheaper product right now and I really like that one. So I think for me, this is like a treat yourself, luxurious experience, but there are other oils out there that do a nice job. The one thing I will say is this is extremely gentle. I've never had any eye irritation from it and I do notice sometimes with the oil that I'm using, it is a little bit strong in the eye area and I can get like watery eyes or feel like a little bit of a reaction sometimes, whereas this is extremely gentle. So if you have very sensitive skin, then I would definitely suggest checking out this nourishing oil cleanser. Just know that you're gonna need a washcloth to take it off. So my thoughts on this are sort of the same as in the initial video I did. Really enjoy it definitely very luxurious and it smells of course amazing so after using the oil cleanser I'm a big fan of double cleansing so I always went in with something else and what I used was the purifying cleanser this made its way into my favorites video I talked about this in the initial video on the skincare it's still one of my favorite products I would repurchase this in a second I think the cleansers that I've tried from her range are really incredible um, the exfoliating cleanser the rejuvenating cleanser, is that what it's called? It's also wonderful, and the purifying cleanser. So I would repurchase this in a second. Highly recommend it if you're interested in one of her cleansers. It's a very unique formula. It's a gel that turns into an oil on your skin. It feels wonderful, and your skin feels so clean afterwards. And unlike the oil cleanser, you don't need a washcloth to take this off. It dissolves very easily with water. It's just a beautiful product, and the scent of this is by far my favorite scent out of any of the products that I've tried. So it's just a wonderful experience and a wonderful way to finish up your day during your skincare routine. All right, is everyone still awake? <laughs> We've made it to the final product, yay! Um, this is the Tata Harper Concentrated Brightening Essence Illuminating and Tone Correcting Boost. I'm not really sure what to say about this product because I don't not like it and I don't love it. I felt like when I initially started using it, I felt like it had a big impact and I really liked it. I felt like as I had it for longer, I didn't notice as much of a brightening effect on my skin. The packaging was annoying because the gold actually flakes off of the cap, and so you get like flecks of gold in your skincare when you pump it out, and then you're putting that metal on your face and it's impossible to get them off, it's like glitter. Now that I'm using other products that I feel like have done a better job to brighten my skin that are more affordable, I have a hard time justifying purchasing this. That doesn't mean I don't like it. The packaging is obviously beautiful, the ingredients are beautiful, all of that, but I just think there are other things that potentially work just the same. So if you're interested in Tata Harper and you're wanting something brightening, check this out for sure. But if you're not interested in Tata Harper and you're wanting something maybe a little bit more affordable, then there are other options. Does that make sense? 
Yeah, I just feel mixed about this. Okay guys, we did it. We got through all of them. I tried to be as concise as possible. If you're curious about any of the products that I talked about, have any more questions for me, just let me know in the comments down below. I love empties videos because I feel like I can actually give you a fully formed review on something. I've tried it for the duration of its life <laughs> and now it's completely empty and I have formalized thoughts and I know exactly what I think about it. I hope this was helpful. Everything will be linked down below as always. If this is your first time watching one of my videos, thank Thank you so much for watching and make sure to subscribe if you're interested in seeing videos always featuring clean green beauty. Otherwise, I hope all of you have a wonderful rest of your day or night and I will see you all very soon. Bye!